In this video, we will explain the robot language commands used for the conveyor tracking control. This video assumes the following equipment configuration. SCARA Downward view camera Belt conveyor with encoder Robot controller RCX340 with tracking option Vision system RCX IV2 Plus Support software RCX Studio 2020 and RCX IV2 Plus Studio The Position Monitoring Queue is a container that stores queue elements. It exists for each conveyor. Position data and tag of workpiece is saved in each queue element. Position data that are saved in the queue elements will be updated corresponding to the encoder counter increment or decrement. The position data are always being monitored. Users can check the position data of the first SKU element with tracking monitor, etc. C condition switches the tracking board counter status to valid or invalid. When the counter status is validated, all the queue elements added to the position monitoring queue up to that point will be cleared. If the counter number is omitted, both counter 1 and counter 2 will be specified. CT Vision defines whether to use RCX IV2 Plus for conveyor tracking. If the counter number is omitted, both counter 1 and counter 2 will be specified. This command is necessary when using CADQV. CADQV adds the RCX IV2 Plus search results as a queue element to the position monitoring queue. For coordinate data, specify the position data to save to the queue element. The specified position data must be in the point data format in millimeter. CT vision is required when using this command. Here's an example of how to add a queue element. A workpiece is being conveyed on the conveyor of counter number 1. Capture the image of the workpiece with the camera of channel 1, then search for the model number 1. Store the workpiece detected position to P1. Add the data of P1 to the Q element of position monitoring Q. By creating a loop process using this operation, it can add queue elements to the position monitoring queue sequentially. Specify the judgment area distance using a real number to judge double registration of the queue elements in the position monitoring queue. If the distance between the coordinate value registered in the position monitoring queue and the coordinate value to be registered in the position monitoring queue is within the judgment area distance, the coordinate value will not be registered to the position monitoring queue. The judgment of double registration will not be performed when specifying a value 0 or less. The option parameter tracking C at Q distance value will be adopted if this value is omitted. The integer value between minus 128 and 127 set in the tag will be added to the position monitoring queue. Tag is used to distinguish each type of workpiece.
If a value is omitted, or if a value not between minus 128 and 127 is set, zero will be specified. C check Q confirms the position of the Q element relative to the working area. If the Q element number is omitted, the first Q element will be specified as a target. The return value differs depending on the target Q element position. The return value will be 0 if it exists before the working area, 1 if it exists within the working area, and minus 1 if it exists beyond the working area. It is used to start the follow-up movement or delete unnecessary Q elements depending on the return value. Seaget Q obtains the position data of a Q element in the position monitoring Q in the point data format. Seaget Tag obtains a tag of a Q element in the position monitoring Q. It is used when the process is branched by the tag. C remove Q deletes the specified Q element in the position monitoring Q. The numbers of Q elements after the deleted Q element will be carried up. Q elements will not be deleted automatically. It needs to be deleted programmatically if unnecessary. CTMove executes the robot conveyor follow-up operation for the specified Q element. The follow-up height option specifies the height during the follow-up movement by setting the z-axis coordinate value. If the follow-up height setting is not specified, it will perform the follow-up movement with a height when the CT move movement starts. When the arch motion is specified, the arch raising motion and arch lowering motion will be executed. If both the follow-up height and arch motion are specified, the follow-up height will be applied after the arch motion is complete. If only the arch motion is specified, the height during the follow-up movement will be height when the CT move starts. CT Drive changes the follow-up height of a robot in the conveyor follow-up state. Specify the follow-up height with real number. CT Stop ends the follow-up operation and stops the robots in the conveyor follow-up state. Also, other than CT stop, when movement commands other than CT move and CT drive are executed, the follow-up operation will end. For the conveyor tracking, execute the program to move the robot and the program to image workpieces, then add the queue elements to the position monitoring queue with multitasking. That is all the explanation of the robot language commands for conveyor tracking.